Many of ChannelTivity's customers use Salesforce as their CRM. This video shows how you can synchronize your ChannelTivity partner data with Salesforce so that both sides are always up to date. First, I'm going to demonstrate how the integration works, and then I'll take you through the super easy configuration. Our partner record synchronization with Salesforce is bidirectional. This means that any changes on one side will appear on the other. So, for example, if you create an account of the type partner in Salesforce, it will automatically create the same partner record in channel activity and vice versa. And the same extends to any contacts associated with those partners. Let me demonstrate. I'm creating a new active partner in channel activity. I fill out all the fields, press save, go to Salesforce, and then refresh my page in Salesforce to see that the same record was created there as well. If I make a change to my partner in channel activity, that change will instantly be reflected in Salesforce as well. Let's create another contact, like this, and then jump back over to Salesforce, refresh the page, and you'll see it here in the listing as well. Now making changes to Salesforce records works exactly the same, except that they're not instantaneously reflected in ChannelTivity. Because ChannelTivity's integration works with a Salesforce API, we have to search Salesforce for changes on a regular basis, currently once per hour, and then update the corresponding records in ChannelTivity with the changes that we pull from Salesforce. So if you make changes in Salesforce, it could take a while for them to show up in ChannelTivity. Because in certain cases you don't want to wait that long, there are ways to manually trigger a sync. There's a little expandable area in the status box with a link to do an immediate sync, or you can actually just press the edit button, which will automatically pull changes from Salesforce before displaying the form and data. We do this to avoid conflicts as much as possible. That's pretty much how ChannelTivity synchronizes partner records and contacts with Salesforce. Now let's look at how to configure this integration. Once you've entered your Salesforce credentials, there's a single screen to configure the partner sync. Because we use the Salesforce API, there's nothing to install on the Salesforce side. So let's take a look. The radio buttons at the top allow you to turn the partner sync on and off. Then, there are two sections, one to configure the sync of active partner records, and the other to configure partners that are not active, but in the recruitment process. Those would be your prospective partners. The first setting here allows you to specify what constitutes an active partner in Salesforce. That way, ChannelTivity will only import partner records and not your prospects, customers, etc. This setting also controls the Salesforce account type of any partner created by ChannelTivity in Salesforce. The next setting allows you to change the condition that triggers the import. Many people want the control of manually selecting which partner records get imported into ChannelTivity by checking a box within Salesforce, which is what we see here. For more automation, you can also instead set this to your own custom formula field in Salesforce, but that's an advanced topic. So those are the settings for active partners. You'll see the exact same settings under prospective partners should you want to synchronize those as well. The final component of the partner sync configuration is the field mapping section below. This is where you specify how the fields in ChannelTivity and Salesforce are linked. The left column shows all available fields in ChannelTivity for both the partner here and the contact underneath. The right shows the corresponding record types and fields in Salesforce. All of the standard field mappings are preset, but if you have custom fields, you can easily set up their mappings here. Let me show you. I have a few custom partner fields in ChannelTivity here on the left, and now want to include them in the sync with Salesforce. I first click on the field I want to map, which will highlight it, and at the same time fade out any incompatible fields on the Salesforce side. Now I can pick an existing field as a destination, or select New Field at the very bottom, which, once I save, will create that field within Salesforce. As you can see, configuring ChannelTivity's partner synchronization with Salesforce is really straightforward. Please get in touch if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments. Thank you for watching.